Yeah, Canadian singer Mark Martel sounds so much like Queen frontman Freddie Mercury that his singing voice was actually used in that blockbuster film Bohemian Rhapsody so many of us enjoyed in 2018. And now you can catch this ultra-talented performer playing once again at the Hard Rock Casino in Biloxi. Mark Martel joins us now on the 4 o'clock show to talk about this uh, North American concert tour with his tribute show One Vision of Queen. Mark, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. This is my first time on your show. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, before we talk about Queen, because this is what this is all about, a uh -huh. quick background, because you, um, I believe, grew up in Canada, moved to Nashville as a, a Christian singing artist, right? Uh -huh. with, a, with a group there. You did several recordings. So um, you had your own thing going there before you became a Queen tribute artist. Yeah, um, I've been a musician all my professional life, uh, formed a band out of college in Canada. It was a Christian rock band, like you mentioned. And uh, we got signed to a, a record label here in Nashville really quickly in 2001. And as soon as we started touring, people would come up and tell me, you know, you know who you sound like? You sound a lot like that Freddie Mercury guy. And, and keep in mind, we were singing our own music and mostly in churches. So that just kind of shows you just how obvious the comparison was. And uh, I never thought that anything would come of it. Uh, but here I am coming to uh, the Hard Rock for the third time doing a Queen show. Yeah, I mean, and that must have um, been quite a, a transition. And obviously, it's, it's definitely served you well. There's such a, a following. And you've been touring around the country, around the world, really, with this group. And you were in that movie, which uh, I think there was a non-disclosure, so you can't talk too much about that. But your voice <laughs> is in the Bohemian Rhapsody. That must have uh, really helped you out, too. I, I can definitely say I had a lot of fun working on the, on the movie and working along, alongside Rami Malek and the, you know, the producers and director and... Um, it was really a dream come true for a movie lover like me, never having seen behind the scenes making a movie and uh, what a hugely anticipated movie it was. It was like 10, 15 years in the making, and I was just so honored to be able to lend my voice to such a, an important undertaking. Yeah, wonderful movie. Well, it must be great creating this kind of atmosphere um, around the country, and you'll be here at the Hard Rock. I mean, you really bring it, I know, because I've seen a lot of the videos. And uh, what's that like for you, creating that atmosphere for all of these Queen fans? I, I know it's uh, you're a natural. <laughs> Well, you can't you can't perform Queen sitting down. I will tell you that uh, we have a lot of fun. My musicians are second to none. Uh, I often say that my guitar player often sounds more like Brian May does <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> uh, you know, we're very meticulous about presenting the, the music the way that people want to hear it, but also taking like just enough liberties to make it, you know, more sellable in a live situation. And Queen were and still are known for their live shows and their adaptations of the studio performances. And so we have a lot of fun. It's a high energy show. Uh, also some emotional moments in there too. I get to tell my story, which is kind of a weird one about how I kind of fell into the music of Queen. And um, it's definitely a blast. And even if you're just a fringe Queen fan or just a fan of classic rock in general, it's a good time for everyone. Okay, well, wish we had more time. We'll have to talk to you again because it's a fascinating story and hopefully people are gonna go out and see you. I know they will July 27th at the Hard Rock. Looking forward to having you back here on the coast. Thank you so much, uh, Mark Martell, for joining us today. Thank you, Karen.